Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Elliot, and as you can see, you can see my fingers here. I'm waving to you. It's Saturday morning, and I am driving. Just wanted to do a quick video on your driver profile. So every driver is going to have different thoughts and ideas about this, but uh, here's mine. I've been driving uh, over a year. My overall rating is 4.94. Uh, I have over a 96, probably 97% five-star rating, and I've done uh, over 2,300 trips in Uber, and another probably 1,200 in Lyft, so altogether like 3,500 trips um, between the two apps. In your Uber uh, profile, driver profile, you have these options here. What languages do you know? Where did you grow up? Uh, what can you recommend in your city? How would you describe yourself? Uh, what's a fun fact about you? What's your favorite Uber story to tell? And then you have your, your uh, rider compliments. These are just a few of them. I guess they list the ones that you uh, have most often. And then some of your uh, compliments that riders have left you. Right, driver achievements over 500 five star trips, five friends driving, five plus uh, a year with Uber, some of my achievements. Right, but when it comes to these ones, I have the option to fill these out. I'm going to tell you my thoughts on it because your passenger sees this your driver profile, your passenger sees how long you've been driving, how many trips you've completed in the app, and uh, what your overall rating is. But if you fill these out, they also see this. I choose not to fill those out. And the reason why I choose not to fill those out is because I don't want passengers discriminating against me for anything. Meaning, if I list languages, I don't want people discriminating against me uh, based on that. I don't want people discriminating against me based on where I grew up. Like, you know, if I put New York City here, I'm in Texas, right? But if I put New York City here, there's people who have preconceived notions, prejudice about New Yorkers, right? So they're automatically going to assume certain things about me as a New Yorker. They might assume that I'm rude or I'm aggressive or I'm, you know, not nice or, you know, that I have a bad attitude or whatever. Like, they might have that conception in their head, and just because I put New York City as the place where I grew up, um, now that passenger doesn't want to ride with me, and they cancel on me, or something like that. So, for me, these are all things that your passenger may want to know, but if I fill these out, that makes for less conversation with my passenger because now they don't need to ask me nothing. It's all in there already. I would rather tell my passenger once they're in my vehicle, you know, where I'm from or what languages I speak or where I've traveled to or how, you know, I describe myself or fun facts or Uber stories. Like, I don't want to put that stuff in the app. I want to tell them face to face. I want to tell them in person. That's part of what makes riding with me fun is that we have great conversations so you can fill these out if you want I don't recommend it because these are some of the things that you want to talk to your passengers about uh, as they come up in conversation and you don't want that stuff being pre-typed in your profile because then somebody who you might have had a great conversation with they uh, look at your profile and they don't ask you anything. And maybe they don't even talk because of that. So, I don't know. Just my suggestion. It's something I choose not to do. Alright, and then here on the rating side. See if we can get it zoomed correctly. There we go. You can see, lately I have 96% acceptance rate, 6% cancellation rate, which is kind of high for me. And then... Uh, nine or 4.94 overall star rating now watch this let's see if i click on my star rating 
97%, as you can see, of my ratings are five stars. 2% four stars. 1% are these fantastic one-star riders. And likely, I'll never drive that person again, um, whoever that is. But those people are just special. Super special. Anyway, but um, yeah, that's what I think about the ratings and your profile. Because you see this, but your passenger sees this so you can fill them out maybe you don't like to talk maybe you don't like getting high ratings maybe you don't like having great conversations and having great reviews maybe you just want them to read this and not ask you anything me personally I prefer to have the dialogue with my passengers I prefer that they find that stuff out from me directly while they're on their trip rather than from my app y'all have a wonderful day Rideshare Daily, episode 54. Peace.